from a station working for you. This is a WRTV update. Hello, I'm WRTV's Nicole Griffin, and these are your latest headlines. We are waiting for more information on an officer involved shooting on the north side. This happened around 1030 Wednesday night near 86th Street and Harcourt Road on the city's north side. Metro police say they were tracking a suspect in connection to shots being fired into a home and vehicle earlier this month. An officer with the Violent Crimes Task Force tried to stop the woman on Silver Leaf Drive. The woman who police say was carrying a weapon was shot by an officer. She was taken to the hospital and is listed as stable. Metro police say the officer firing the shots was wearing a body camera. The officer is now on administrative leave. The city's use of force board will also investigate. Changes are coming to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, and they could affect how much you receive in assistance. The program allows Hoosiers the opportunity to purchase healthier food and move towards self-sufficiency. First, a 15% increase in SNAP benefits provided by the American Rescue Plan is scheduled to end at midnight Thursday. Then in October, benefits will increase due to a reevaluation of the Thrifty Food Plan. The Indiana Family and Social Services Administration says SNAP members might see a slight increase in the benefits they receive. And we now know the source of an unknown substance found in the waters at Indiana Dunes National Park. All beaches in the area were closed after an orange plume was discharged into the Burns Waterway. That's about 30 miles east of Chicago. U.S. Steel says elevated levels of iron from its factory in Portage, Indiana, caused the discharge. It is still not clear if the discharge posed a threat to public health, the environment, or wildlife. The beaches are now reopened to the public. Kevin. Time to turn the page on the calendar and hello October. It will be a dry and mild start to the new month. Your Friday afternoon temperature around 80. Just as the weekend arrives, temperatures will go down and our rain chances come up. It won't be a washout. Sunday will be the most likely time for rain. Temperatures in the morning hours, Friday in the middle to upper 50s. Quite comfortable. Afternoon temperature reaches 81 with a light wind. Nicole? Kevin, thank you. Stay on top of the very latest news anytime by downloading the WRTV mobile app. And we are also available 24-7 across all popular streaming devices, including Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Android TV.